Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on calculating bounds of a number rounded to the nearest whole 10, 100, 1000, etc. So we've got this first problem here. A number is rounded to 17 to the nearest whole. Determine the lower and upper bound of the number. Now, what lower and upper bound mean is the smallest and the largest number that we could have started with that would have rounded to 17. Because, for example, let's just take 16.8. Uh, if we rounded that to the nearest hole, then that would round to 17, wouldn't it? So the original number could have been 16.8 before it was rounded to 17. Can we go lower? We could have 16.6. .6. That would have rounded to 17. Uh, and in 16.5, well, because that digit is 5 or more, that still rounds up to 17. However, if we had 16.4... That, to the nearest hole, is 16. So this appears to be too low because when we round to the nearest hole, we get 16 and not the 17 in the question. So this here, therefore, is the lower bound. So the lower bound of the number is equal to 16.5. And what about the upper bound? Well, if I had 17.4, what does that round to? That rounds to 17, to the nearest hole. So that seems to be good. If you had 17.5, that rounds to 18. But the thing is, we could go to more decimal places. We could have 17.49. And that still, to the nearest hole, is 17, just about. And in fact, we can keep on adding more 9s on the end. So it's in fact 17.49 recurring would be the highest number we could have that still rounds to 17. However, and this gets a bit weird, 17.49 recurring is effectively 17.5. It's in fact possible to algebraically prove that 17.49 recurring is the same as 17.5. And it's basically because it's infinitesimally close. 0.49999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999